So today I want to take us through how to install the Z shell and how to customize the Z shell using Oh My Zish and Power Level 10K. I'm running uh, an Arch system right now with GNOME 40. I'm going to try to keep this as independent of distribution as I possibly can. Some of the commands I'm going to be using are going to be specific to Arch Linux. So if you're on a Debian-based system or if you're on a Fedora-based system or Void Linux, your commands might be a little bit different, so you're going to have to consult uh, their wiki or their how-to guide for some of those um, key commands. Let's go ahead and get started by opening up our terminal on GNOME. Just start typing terminal, should pop open. Now you'll see that I have a typical bash terminal here um, without any color or without any customization done to it. We're going to start by ins installing the Z shell. So that command is going to be sudo pacman dash s and we're looking for the package Z S H, the Z shell. So go ahead and run that and that ins installs Zish. Uh, you can already see that I have it installed, but I'm going to go ahead and reinstall it for this video. And once it's installed, we can move on to the next step. Go ahead and clear your terminal using the um, uh, shortcut Control L or by typing clear into the terminal. Now we need to uh, activate the Z shell. So simple command, just type Z S H. It'll ask you to verify and create a configuration file, hit the number zero, and you now clear the terminal and you're in your Z shell. You'll notice that it looks just a little bit different than our bash set shell did, or bash. All right, from this point, I'm gonna open up a browser. So whatever browser you prefer, I'm gonna go ahead and open up Brave. That's my default browser. Well, it's my default browser now. And I'm gonna split the screen here equally. Clear my terminal, Control L, great. So the first thing we're looking for is a plugin manager called Oh My Zish. So go ahead, using whatever search engine you'd like, we're looking for GitHub Oh My Zish. Oh My Zish. And for me, that's the number one hit using Google. Might be number two if you're using like DuckDuckGo or Brave Browser or whatever else you use. So from here, we're going to scroll down. And we're going to install this with the basic installation here, the curl method. So go ahead and highlight that, copy it, paste. Remember when you're pasting into a terminal, you need to hold control and shift to paste into the terminal. Let's try that again. There we go. Do you want to change your default shell to Zish? At this point, hit yes. Type in your password, and now your default shell is no longer bash, it's now zish. This will take effect after you uh, log out of your session and log back into your session. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now, and I'll meet you back here after logging back in. So I've just logged back in, let's go ahead and open up our browser again, and our terminal. So now you'll notice that when you boot into your terminal, you'll automatically be running the Z shell with Oh My Zish, the plugin manager running by default. So I want to install a couple of different plugins before we move on to power level 10K. The first plugin I want, go ahead and search for GitHub ZSH Auto Suggestions. What this plugin does is as you're typing commands, it's going to prompt you to autofill some of those commands based on you know, popular commands or, or commands that you're coming back to on a regular basis and historical usage of your commands. It's really convenient uh, just to save some time as you're working in and out of your terminal. So go ahead and scroll down. We're on the install.md, go ahead and click that. And we're installing it using Oh My Zish. That's our plugin manager. So it says clone into this repository. We'll just go ahead and copy that and paste that. Hit enter. 
clones in. Now we need to add it to our customization file that we created earlier in the video. So add the plugin to the list of popular plugins for OhMyZish to load inside this here. So we're going to go ahead and use whatever text editor you like. It could be Nano, I prefer Vim. We're going to type Vim tilde forward slash dot zshrc. And that's going to pop us into our config file for the Z shell. Hit page down or scroll down to where it says plugins right here. If you're in Vim, you'll hit I to go into insert mode. Scroll over and type in what you see over here on the left side of the screen, ZSH-Auto Suggestions. Hit escape to exit insert mode, hit colon, type W and Q, which are the commands for write and quit, and it'll save the file and exit us out of the config file. Next up, I want a plugin, so we'll search for GitHub, ZSH highlighting. And what that does adds a little bit of color. Um, it, for example, when you're typing in a command and you misspell it, it'll remain red, knowing that the command isn't recognized by your terminal. It'll be green if it is a verified command. Uh, it just nice visual cues to keep you in a, in a good state of work. So right here, GitHub Zish syntax highlighting is what we're looking for. And we're gonna follow the same process here. Scrolling down, we have with a plugin manager, that's what we're using, and we're using oh my zish. So we're going to copy this command here, paste it, control shift V into our terminal, and then we need to add that plugin the same way we added the previous plugin. So in our terminal, let's go ahead and hit the up arrow twice. That'll get us back to our previous command to um, edit the configuration file. Hit enter. We're already down here at plugins. So go ahead and hit I if you're in Vim to enter the insert mode. And then without adding any commas or colons or semicolons or whatever, just a space, go ahead and add this here, the ZSH syntax highlighting. So that's ZSH dash syntax dash highlighting. Hit escape to exit insert, hit colon, WQ to write and quit. Great, the last thing we're going to do now is install our um, theme power level 10k. So we're going to go to GitHub or search for GitHub power level 10k. It's the first hit here for me. And we're going to install this the same way by using our plugin manager, OhMyZish. So this link here, go ahead and click it. We're going to clone into the repository like we've been doing. Copy it. Shift Control V. Paste it in. Let that run. And we need to add this theme in our configuration file right here. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to hit the up arrow twice. Hit enter. We're back in our config file. Now the themes are up <clears throat> in the document a little bit. So hit page up or scroll up to where you see ZSH underscore theme. The current theme right now is Robbie Russell. Go ahead and hit I to enter the insert mode. Delete Robbie Russell, but leave the quotes. And then type power level 10K forward slash power level 10K. And again, I'm getting that from right here. At that point, hit escape, colon, WQ, write and quit. Now, if you're on Arch, you'll still see that there's not a lot of color in your terminal. We actually need to change that configuration uh, in order to see a little bit more color. So head over to archlinux.org come over here to wiki and we're looking for pacman.conf and that's usually just because I forget where they uh, keep this configuration file. So the configuration file is located in your etc folder 
in the document entitled pacman.com. So we need to run this as a super user, so we're going to write sudo, whatever your text editor is, minus vim, and then forward slash etc forward slash pacman dot conf and hit enter. It'll ask you for your password. And now you're in your pacman configuration file, which looks pretty similar to the configuration file that we had for Z shell. Go ahead and I'm already down in the file a little bit. Let me just come up to the top. Up at the top here, you might see color with a hashtag in front of it. And you might also see or not see at all, I love candy. So what I want you to do is remove the hashtag in front of color, come over here, hit enter, then type I capital L O V E capital C A N D Y. I love candy. And that's gonna add like a little Pac-Man for all of the loading files. I'll show you guys in a second. Hit escape, colon, right quit. And now to apply all of the settings that we've, oh, actually before that, coming back over here to power level 10K, we need to add a couple of fonts. So hit control F, search for font, and it'll drop you about a third of the way down the website. It doesn't require custom fonts to use, but it works well with nerd font in particular. So they have the fonts here for you to download. If you're not on Arch, go ahead and download these all individually. Like so. Pop open into your files downloads. You'll see your fonts here. Go ahead and double click on it. If you have the option to, you should see the ability to install it. You can already see that I have it installed, so it's not going to let me install it again. Do this for all four fonts. Uh, that way, when we run power level 10K, we'll be able to make use of the nerd fonts. has a couple of different icons and theming stuff. I'll show you guys in a moment. Go ahead and close your browser. And go ahead now and close your terminal as well. So we need to restart the terminal to apply a lot of the changes that we added to the configuration file. So go ahead and reopen the terminal. And on the first time you open the terminal, it'll take you through a configuration wizard uh, for power level 10K. So it's going to ask you some questions. Does this look like a diamond or a rotated square? Hit Y, yes it does. This is why we needed the power level 10K nerd font in order to make these icons appear. Does this look like a lock? Yes, it does. Does this look like a swirl or a Debian logo? Yes, it does. Do all of these icons fit between the crosses? Yes, they do. And now it's gonna ask you for the prompt style of your choosing. Uh, I'll take you through what I prefer, but feel free to play around with this and, and choose whatever you'd like. Uh, so I'm gonna do rainbow, that's number three. I'm going to do Unicode, that's number one. I like showing my time in a 12-hour format, so for me that's number three. I like having the angled separators or the chevron separators, so I'm going to choose number one. I like my head to be angled as well, or sharp, so that's number one again. I like my tail to be flat, so that's number one again, but you can see all the different options you have here. I like all of my prompts on one line, so I'm going to hit number one. I like my spacing compact, so I'm going to hit number one. I like many icons, so I'm going to hit number two. I like my prompt flow concise, so I'm going to hit number one. And I like the transient prop, um, excuse me, the transient prompt, so I'm going to hit yes on this one. And then I like my prompt mode verbose. Uh, I always like more information than not, so I'm going to hit one here and then I'm gonna apply the changes by hitting yes. So when I clear my terminal, you'll now see that we have power level 10K installed 
very aesthetic. Uh, I've seen a couple of distributions come with this pre-packaged, so this is how you apply it on your distribution. Um, if it's Arch or Fedora or Debian or whatever it happens to be, this should be pretty distribution neutral, so you can get your um, terminal set up this same way. And then it wouldn't be complete without a little NeoFetch. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.